In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install custom LUTs in Final Cut Pro and more importantly, how to quickly preview them so you don't waste a lot of time testing which one works the best. Let's jump straight into Final Cut Pro. So after you have imported some footage, the first thing you want to do is to search for the effects browser, which is over here. Just click on it, use this search bar to type custom and you're going to see this one custom LUT, drag over your footage or over an adjustment layer and over here you're going to see another window popping up. Click over here and choose a custom LUT and find the LUTs wherever they are on the system. The only files that you need are these ones, the cube files and click on open. In case they don't appear immediately, just close Final Cut and reopen it and they will be here. So this is how you do it usually. But the problem with this is when you apply the LUT, you can see it here in the window, but to be able to see the other LUTs, you have to go one by one. And this can be really, really time consuming. My guess is no one likes to waste time. Therefore, I found another solution, which is to install a plugin that is called MLUT to create a preview window where you can basically see every single LUT that you install immediately how it looks on the footage. This plugin is completely free and it is built by some cool guys at Motion VFX. So what you're going to need to do is to head over their website which is motionvfx.com and look for the M installer. This is the first thing that you're going to have to install on your Mac in order to get the MLUT plugin. So you just need to follow their steps, download it on your Mac. You're going to be asked to sign up and confirm your email and you're going to get this black window. So I already installed the MLUT plugin, but this will be empty for you you're going to need to search for the MLUT plugin and pretty much the magic happens on its own. So the MLUT is going to appear over here in the window and then what you need to do is go back to Final Cut Pro and now instead of typing custom LUT, you're going to type MLUT and this is going to appear over here. You're going to click on it and as you can see over here, you are now looking at some new options provided by MLUT. Click over here, MLUT presets, and this window is going to pop up. Over here, it's going to be empty for you. You can create categories over here and import your own LUTs. But look how much it is easier now to see how the LUTs that you want to apply actually look like. I mean, this is wonderful. It saves so much time. I can immediately figure out, okay, I do not want this look. I want this look and I don't even have to waste time testing this one, which you basically are forced to do if you're using the way that I previously showed you. To import your own LUTs, you're going to just select this part, MLUT presets, click on new category, give it your own preferred name and click add. The category that you just created is going to appear over here. Then you're going to select it and click on import and then find it on your own system where you have stored the downloaded um, LUTs and click import. They are going to immediately show up here in the window as you selected them under the right folder. And that's pretty much it. You can select your favorites. They are going to appear over here in the favorites folder. Let's just test one. This one is favorite and it is going to be stored over here. This is also very, very handful because it additionally saves you time. Some additional options that this plugin offers is that you can do some extra tweaks over here. Whatever tweaks you do, you can end up saving this as a preset and always coming back to using it. I don't know how you feel about this plugin, but this is going to save a ton of time for me. So that's pretty much it. The only thing that I haven't figured out with this MLUT plugin is how to actually delete ones. I I mean, I have tried several things and I couldn't find their own tutorial about it. So in case some of you guys know how to delete some of the lots, please let me know in the comments. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a like, drop a comment whether you like it or not. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.